Oh, I like underestimated bolos. This first one is one that you might walk past. I know that I usually have a tendency to walk past these types of items, but I will also say that if I'm at the Goodwill bins and I see one of these that is sealed, I pick it up and I put it in my car. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I posted this, share your best April bolo, and then everybody in the group that wants to participate comments with their bolo item and the information, and I share it in a video like this. If you are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, there is a link tree down below. That is my, um, my link tree basically gives you all my links, and my Facebook is there. So click on that, go join the Facebook group, and share a bolo, and I will share it in a video. And the reason I do that is because... Our Goodwill bins, I think, I want to say it's 59 cents a pound for media. So I can get a sealed DVD really, really cheap. I just take a chance. If it's bread and butter, that's fine. If it's big money, woo, that's great, you know? Most of them aren't sealed. Usually I leave the DVDs behind because half the time you open them up and there's not even a DVD in there. But this one is Esther Williams. I don't know who that is. It looks like she might be a swimmer. Um, it says Esther Williams Volume 2 DVD set, TCM 6 Movies, Fiesta Pagan Love Song. Maybe she's a singer? I have no idea. But they got it at a dollar. They got it at a dollar. <laughs> they got it at an estate sale for a dollar and took a best offer of $40. You guys that are just here for the first time are probably like, this girl's nuts. Like, see you later. Or you're like, I need to keep watching because what is she going to say next? Oh, hopefully it's the second one. All right. Paid 50 cents and sold for $95 plus shipping. Somerville three, 360 self-tanning towelettes. What? Self-tanning towelettes. So is that like a towelette that you like wipe your skin and it makes you look tan? I bet that turns out real even. Eek. It must because this sold for $95. Wow. Plus shipping, 50 cents into 95. Kate Summer, I'm going to guess Ville. Uh, it's cut off. Oh, yeah, it says Summerville at the beginning. All right. Well, they must work for $95. Went to an estate sale today and spent $10 on this brand new turkey call. I tried to check all packaged items with eBay. Two listed, one sold. I listed mine a little lower than the other two and it sold in three hours for $50 plus shipping. I guess I should have listed it higher. Um, this is where probably Terapeak or WorthPoint is going to come in handy. Terapeak, you can go back two years. WorthPoint, you can go back even further. Um, this is new old stock. So anything that's new old stock and there's no other ones listed, I personally am probably going to do an auction and start it at what I probably would have done a buy it now at. So this, they started, or uh, their buy it now was $50. I probably would have started the auction at 50, maybe even higher. And usually my auctions don't sell because I price them high. I'm not like, I'm going to start my auction at a dollar and see what it goes for. Unless I'm on whatnot selling. You guys, if you're not following me on whatnot, you got to come over. Um, I sell a little bit of everything and I am loving it. And I am bringing you things that I would sell on eBay. These, This is my money pile that I'm selling on whatnot because I'm spending a lot of time on YouTube and I'm just not getting everything listed. And if you've watched my reseller vlogs, you have seen how massive my money pile is. It is like growing and growing and growing. And I want to move that inventory quick. So I'm selling on whatnot and I love it. So there is a link down below. If you're not on whatnot, definitely check it out. Um, if you use my link, it's a referral link. You're going to get $15 of free money to shop. So go down there and click on that buyer's link. And if you want to sell after you join as a buyer, you can come back and click on my seller's link and that you fill out like a little application and you turn in like a video or pictures of your inventory 
And what they say is, if you use a referral link, you're more likely to get accepted quicker. I had somebody the other day that just applied and they said they were accepted in five minutes. Somebody else applied, was accepted the same day. So if you wanna sell on whatnot, definitely use my referral link. And if you're already a buyer and you wanna sell, just go down there and grab that link. Um, okay, so that is what I recommend for rare, hard to find items um, that are not flooded on eBay. Try an auction first. So 50 bucks, still great profit there, but that would be my little tip. This is a turkey call. It is Loman Thunder Dome Pump Action Turkey Hunting Call. And if you don't know, vintage turkey calls, vintage bird calls, vintage, there's all kinds of different calls. Look those up if you see them. The vintage ones can do really well as well. All right. Found this at a thrift, sta uh, thrift sale for church. Found this at a thrift sale for church that was fundraising. Huh. I'm going to say this was a church sale, a fundraiser. Bought it for $25 and sold it for $100. It is a Canon PowerShot ELPH 100 HS digital camera tested and in excellent condition. And this is what it looks like. I pass cameras by all the time. I don't want to test them. So I skip them. I know I'm missing out on money. I know that's why I do these videos. So you can see things besides the stuff I sell. If you want to see my what solds, I got a bunch of those on the channel. So you can go check those out. I got my bread and butter videos and I got my big money ones. So um, I am a full-time reseller. So Sold this vintage 1987 G Armani Angel figurine made in Florence, Italy for $69.50 plus shipping. Paid $2 at the Goodwill. Sold in three weeks. G Armani is definitely a big bolo. The bigger statues sell in the upwards of $300. And this is what it looks like. How cute is that? Hey, Courtney. Bolo Buddies member here. This is Grinning Grandma. She has a YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. And she is a a hoot. A hoot. She's so funny. She always makes me laugh. This isn't going to make anyone into a millionaire or even a hundred hundred air. <laughs> See what I mean? She's so funny. But it's a nice little underestimated bolo. I like underestimated bolos. This small stash of co rec type. Co rec type was. I think she did that so I'd say it right. <laughs> Correct type so I'd say it right. Was in a miscellaneous box of office stuff in an estate sale with some old pens, paper clips, etc. They probably didn't charge me for it thinking that the box was worthless and felt sorry for the poor old lady who just liked to pick stuff up. If you don't know, the correct correct type is typist used to use it to correct errors when they typed. Instead of trying to erase their mistake and end up tearing or smudging the paper, the typist would place this small film over the air and retype the mistake. One tiny sheet could be used for many corrections. This little bundle sold at my sale price on eBay for $25 plus shipping. This is what it looks like. And they're like, she called them matchbooks. So pretty cool bolo, right? Would you have picked it up? Grinning Grandma. Um, eBay store and YouTube channel will both be linked down below. She is a Bolo Buddies member and she is a great person. So definitely go check her out. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Amazing Steals and Deals. And this is his eBay store. And he is one of the biggest Bolo finders, I think, that I know. Um, this man sources like a machine. I, it's just incredible what he finds. So definitely go look at his eBay store. He has some, he, he sells bread and butter too, but man, oh man, his solds are just amazing. Found it in a state sale. It was very dirty. I paid 50 and sold it for $1,500 in two days. See what I'm talking about here? Vintage Edward H. Bolin, 14 karat gold and sterling silver buckle set, Hollywood, California. I'm telling you, Bolo Finder right there. Got on the last day of an estate sale. Last day of an estate sale. So it was probably half off maybe, maybe more. And these were still sitting there. And he knew, he knew it was a Bolo. 
paid $6 for the set and sold for full asking price of $275 within a week. Again, his eBay store is down below. Go give it a heart and you'll see when he lists new items. You may just find something you want to buy. He finds really cool stuff. Bought this and others in a collection I have shared about three months ago. Found it in a state sale and have about $5 into it. Sold within a month for $300. This is also amazing steals and deals. And it is a Clarice Cliff Woodland Pattern Leda Lita Plate. And it's beautiful. Check that out. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap. And she has a reseller YouTube channel. So check her out. She's a Bolo Finder. She does a lot of clothing. You're not going to see that from me. So go check her out. Uh, paid $3.75 at the Goodwill and sold for full asking price of $159 plus shipping on eBay. It is a Disney Parks Spirit Jersey Pullover Sweatshirt Top Pink Small Disneyland Resort. And this is what it looks like. $159. 4 bucks and $259. Found this at the bins. All right, I'm going to have to zoom in here with my... That means get closer to my computer. Neopets 2005 Limited 2 Plushy... Oh. Plushy... Sharu plush stuffed animal toy. So it looks like it's a limited to exclusive. So one thing that I will tell you, if you find plush that are exclusive to like Walmart, um, Walgreens, uh, CVS, limited to different places, uh, even I'm trying to think of what the one was. They had Squishmallows. I can't remember what it was. There's another store that does exclusive Squishmallows. But anyway, they have a tendency to sometimes have a higher value because they're more of a limited run, okay? This Neopet, but Neopets in general are definitely a bolo. Keep an eye out for them. They also have toys. Um, she found this at the bins and she sold it for $125 plus shipping. Let me know in the comments, have you heard of Neopets? Bought at the Goodwill bins, probably cost 50 cents. Sold on best offer for $180. It is a piece of an old tin toy. It is a piece of an old tin toy. So it's not even the whole thing. Original 50s rotating TV camera from NBC television track. 3.75 inch. Very rare. How do you like that? Replacement part. I love it. I definitely would have picked that up. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. And this is her YouTube channel. And she is fantastic. Check her out. My love for puzzles has finally paid off. I bought this for 99 cents at the Salvation Army. This took a day to sell for 150 I could have held out for a little more, but was very happy with this sale. Lucky Strike Bowling White Mountain 2010 Jigsaw Puzzle 1,000 Pieces. So I do have a category video on puzzles. It's, I did it a while back and I think I did it around um, the time when we were all on lockdown. You remember that time? Um, and puzzles were bigger money than they are now then because everybody was stuck in their house and they were buying puzzles. Okay. But anyway, um, this is White Mountain. And I don't remember that being like a big money brand, but I will tell you the more pieces that a puzzle has usually increases the value. And there are some big money puzzles out there. The ones that are wood and shaped like things. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Big money. Crazy money. Some of them. So uh, you can try to find that category video. I do lots of category videos where I pick a category and I do like a deep dive into it. And basically it educates me and I educate you guys at the same time because I'm, my category videos are completely for educational purposes for me to learn what to look for. And I'm like, if I'm teaching myself, I might as well teach you. So check those out. I have a whole playlist. Just uh, go to that playlist and hit play and just let it play while you work. All right. This suitcase was in an estate I was in charge of several years ago, so I di it didn't cost me anything. Sold for $75 to a guy in California. I did add the word prop to the title, hoping to catch someone's attention in California. DeCamper's Great Finds is, um, 
that is, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the eBay store name, but you can see here it just says Decamper. And it sold for 75 and it sold to somebody in California. Wonder if it actually sold as a prop. But yeah, these old suitcases, some of them can do very, very well. And uh, she is a Bolo Buddies member, so she will be linked down in the description. So go click on that and click on the heart and follow. And a state I was in charge of. So sometimes when you're in charge of an estate, um, at the end of the estate, you're stuck with the stuff that doesn't sell. So that could have been this situation. I don't know. She did not elaborate. But um, yeah, if you have ever done estate sales, sometimes it's an estate sale clean out. Um, where you just get the stuff free for your labor. And those kind of sales are great. So let me know if you've ever bought out an estate sale and just was there any big money bolos left? All right, I have two bolos this time. I bought this set of EarTech Communications headphones at a church rummage sale. They were taking donations. I gladly handed them 40 after running comps on the headphones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wait until you see what these sold for and I also had a pair of nearly new Durango boots and a Dooney and Bork purse anywho I listed the headphones high at 675 then ran a 15% off sale in my store I took a best offer of $500 for them that's my biggest sale yet and I was so excited I almost cried they went a they took a week to sell wow Check it out. Ear Tech, E A R T E C, just like it sounds. Finally, a word that sounds like it looks. I like it. They're ultra light and ultra expensive. <laughs> All right, here's the other one. Oh, wow. I bought this Shriner brooch at an estate sale for $2.50. Okay, let's stop right there. If, if you have not seen my brooch category video, Oh my goodness. Some of them are signed. Some of them are not signed. You have got to go watch this because brooches can go for crazy money. I also did one on clip-on earrings. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so back to the bolo. I bought this Shriner brooch at an estate sale for $2.50 on the last day. I had no idea what it was and it wasn't marked. It was unsigned. I posted it in this group in hopes I would find out something. Most people said it wasn't worth more than $40 to $60. I just had this feeling it was worth more and waited a couple days for more people to respond. After I almost sold it for $25, this awesome chick chimed in the comments. I can't remember her name, but thank you. This is a Shriner brooch. It's worth much more. I put it on auction and woke up to a $200 offer that I accepted. I would have waited it out, but it was a very decent offer, so I took the money and ran. Thanks to everyone and Courtney for helping me anytime I've needed it. You all are the best. Wow. So, um, it looks like she started the auction at $129.99. Somebody offered $200. She took it. Um, just so you guys know, when you are searching comps, this says $129.99 is what it sold for, but it actually sold for $200. I think on this one, I definitely would have waited out the auction, but it is so hard when you know you have such a small amount in the item to wait. Um, it is a Shriner New York Daisy brooch, boho flower, coral green milk glass, lucite, question mark, rare. And this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. Keep your eyes peeled for Dave Stott's DVDs. I picked up three of his box sets at an estate sale as part of a box of items for 32 total. So I'm not into them for much. This is the second set I've sold. I was running a coupon at the time, so they ended up selling for $68. New drive through history, the Gospels, three DVD special edition collection, Dave Stotts. Stotts or Stouts? This is what it looks like. I don't know which one. I don't know which way you say it. Let's see. Bought this set of six Delft ceramic napkin rings at a thrift store for $1 and sold them for $65. And they are hand-painted geese napkin rings marked Holland, blue and white geese, blue and white collectible ceramics, Delft collectibles. 
I think this looks like an Etsy listing because Etsy gives you like 6 million characters. Um, so this is what it looks like. But if I had to guess, I'm going to say that sold on Etsy. End of the day, last sale. It was an oven. What? It was oven. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And she was stacking the remaining items by the road. So it must have been really hot. I got a whole bin of different things. Posted the first beach ball for 120 and got an offer of 99 and took it. I put the second beach ball on auction and only had one bid till the last 15 minutes and sold it for 212 free and turned out to be a bolo. Oh yeah, these beach balls, definitely. Vintage giant beach ball, sand and sun, 48 inch. If you can find the big vintage beach balls, bolo alert. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to go down to the comments and go to my link tree. Click on that and join the Facebook group. I would love for you guys to share your big money bolo. By the time you see this, um, May, share your best May bolo should be up. So you guys can go share and I will feature it in a video just like this. Uh, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here. A subscribe and another video down below. Check out another video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. All right. No information on this one. Oh, man. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Oh, man, there's two of them here. Huh. Well, if I can't tell you where they got it and what they paid for it and what it sold for, I can't share it. So we're going to skip those.